Lafayette police say the shooting stemmed from an isolated incident between individuals in the area. Everybody just went in all different directions. I've seen people go left, some people go right. You know, uh, it was just, it was, it was crazy. Something out of a movie, but reality. Micah Hatfield spoke to a witness who recounts the chaos. Like something from a movie, but in real life. That's how Michael Monsoor describes the scene on Jefferson Street early Sunday morning. He was waiting to get into a bar a few feet from where the shooting happened. I looked to the left, I saw two bodies on the ground. Uh, I saw, you know, the cops running around with their guns. I saw ambulances coming in. I just wanted to get out of there. He says he heard three gunshots and people started scrambling in every direction. After it had happened and I was out, you know, away from the scene, that's whenever I kind of started thinking about, you know, the shooting, you know, Macy and the shooting in Florida, you know, the nightclub, you know, all these different situations came to mind. Less than 24 hours later, little evidence of a disturbance remains. Monsoor hopes the events in downtown don't deter people from returning to Festival International or downtown Lafayette. He hopes something is done to make sure downtown is as safe as possible. After festival is over, you know, I wish that they, you know, could lock down Jefferson, you know, make sure nobody's out in the streets. If you're not in a bar or you're not in a club, you should not be wandering around Jefferson Street that late at night. In Lafayette, Mike Hatfield's KTC TV3.